Next week, the church will mark the Feast of St. Michael and All Angels, otherwise known as Michaelmas. And on Thursday, the 29th of September, there will be a special Eucharist at 5.30 to mark that important moment. And I'm standing here with the window uh, to St. Michael behind me. You'll see the figure of St. Michael and then a picture of Michael slaying the devil beneath it. Michaelmas is one of the four traditional quarter days, along with Lady Day and Midsummer Day and Christmas Day. It marks those special moments. Two of them are solstice days and two equinox days. And as we come towards Michaelmas, we say goodbye to those long warm days of summer and we approach the colder, shorter days of winter. One of the ways that Michaelmas was traditionally marked was by the eating of goose. And in some parts of the country, there are still traditional goose fairs. In the part of Devon where I used to minister, there was indeed a traditional goose fair. We know that geese fly in formation. And scientists have discovered that by flying in formation, they can go 71% further than a goose flying alone. If a goose drops out of formation, it will quickly return to the main pack, having felt the drag, and then be helped along by the geese around it. If a goose is sick or injured and drops out, two geese will fly alongside it until it's ready to return to the pack. And no goose stays at the front for too long. The goose at the front will drop to the back for a rest and allow someone else to take that place of leadership. And one of the most wonderful facts about geese flying in formation is that the geese at the back honk encouragement to the geese in front of them. We have such a lot to learn from those simple facts. During the pandemic and in the aftermath of the Queen's death, we have seen a real coming together of community, people being drawn to one another rather than separated and divided. Our prayer is that that continues, that sense of coming together, of being community, especially as we navigate difficult times as a country and as a world. Some verses of a hymn which speak to this theme of community and caring for one another being together and not divided. We are pilgrims on a journey, fellow travellers on the road. We are here to help each other, walk the mile and bear the load. I will weep when you are weeping. When you laugh, I'll laugh with you. I will share your joy and sorrow till we've seen this journey through. Brother, sister, let me serve you. Let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too.